Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about 10 mistakes that you should not make when you're going into the TSA line. And my name is Roseanne. For those of you that are new, thank you and welcome to my channel for you and all of my wonderful subscribers. Thank you for joining me today. You know, we are approaching Thanksgiving. A lot of people are going to be traveling. And so it's really a good time to remind everyone who's going to be traveling how to get through the TSA line without any issue. So first things first, when you're going through the security line and you don't have TSA pre-check, you're going to have to remove a lot of your layers. And this is cold time, the winter time. You want to make sure that when you're going through security, you aren't jumbled up with a lot of bulky, difficult items. So for example, if you have a sweater and a jacket and you have everything all tied up, you have your purse around your, um, you know, as a messenger bag, make sure that you start to take things off when you get towards the top, the front of the line, because when you are all wrapped up, it's really hard and you have to remember that there's a lot of people in line. So try to think about that to try to make sure that your outfit is easy to get through and that includes your shoes. Make sure that when you're going through the security line, you're going to have to take your shoes off. So be cognizant of that and um, so that you can take those shoes off nice and easy and that you you can get through that security line quickly. And of course, that's a pitch for TSA pre-check because then you don't have to take off your shoes and you don't have to take off a light jacket. You'll have to take off the big bulky one, but that's just something um, to remind you of. Another thing that's super easy to forget as we keep our cell phones in our pocket or we keep change in our pocket is to make sure that we empty our pockets, even of Kleenex, because with the uh, winter comes sniffles or allergies. So make sure that you check your pockets that you don't even have a Kleenex stuffed in your pocket. That's really important. A lot of us forget to do that. Now, we need to remember not to bring prohibited items. And what are prohibited items? There are so many, really. <laughs> but just some are such as ammunition. Don't bring ammunition on the plane. Don't bring lighter fluid. I mean, for your lighters, don't bring anything that's flammable. Don't bring anything that's sharp and pointy. Don't bring scissors. Um, things like that uh, you need to be um, careful of that you don't bring those in the security line so that they don't take your luggage and have to check it. Number four is remember that you need to, to follow the 311 rule. 3.4 ounces in, um, in a container, in a quart size container, one per person. So if you bring a large container of liquids for whatever reason that is, you will have to remove that and get rid of that. And then that, of course, causes delay. They'll take your luggage, they'll rummage through it, and then they'll find your product and you'll have to throw it away. So remember, always remember, if you're gonna bring liquids through the security line that you keep it in the one quart container. And that goes for anything that can, you can smear, that you can rub, anything, um, anything that is even paste. Um, they were very clear about that on the website. Another thing that you want to make sure when you're getting into the security line is that you have your ID and your boarding pass. But sometimes you don't need your boarding pass because now they're just taking your ID and it goes through the system and connects to your boarding pass and lets you go through. But make sure you have your ID ready so that you're not fumbling through your purse or your wallet um, when you're going through security line and that will help you get through smoother and that's what we want. And remember that you need to take your electronics out of your backpack along with your liquids if you're going through the regular security line and you don't want to forget to do that. Sometimes you don't need to take out your iPad, but I know that internationally you have to take out your iPad. And honestly, because I don't go through the regular security line here, I'm not sure about the iPad, but pay attention to, uh, to that. But I believe it's just your computer. But if you're going through TSA pre-check, you won't have to take out your electronics. And I know that 
airports um, across the country, um, they're all going to have that new updated uh, x-ray machine that we use when we go through TSA pre-check. So things are going to eventually roll out. That'll be a lot smoother. But for this point in time, right now, if you don't have TSA pre-check, you're going to have to take your electronics out. So another mistake that all of us have made, I think, <laughs> at least I know I have, and I try really hard to remember not to do this, is to bring a full water bottle. So now I bring my water bottle with me when I travel, and so I have to make a cognizant effort, I have to really think about this to make sure I dump my water out before I bring it through the TSA pre-check line. And they're always reminding you, make sure you don't bring water, and sometimes, inevitably, someone has a bottle of water in their suitcase or in their purse or whatever it is. So just remember that you need to make sure that you don't have a full bottle of water. And the last two items is just um, a friendly reminder that when you're going through TSA PreCheck, and sometimes it can get contentious, like if you forgot brought something, don't argue. A big mistake that we make is if we argue with the TSA security personnel. Just, you know, it's it doesn't bode well for anyone. So if you just act respectfully and ask questions, they're usually so nice and they will um, accommodate you. But as tensions build, that ends up not working out great for the person who is the traveler. So just remember that. And also remember that it's always nice to get to the airport early. I, I've said this so many times. One of the best ways to start your trip is to get to the airport early so you don't have to rush through the security line because one of the biggest mistakes is when you're late and you're rushing and you're trying to rush the security line, then everything happens. I mean, it's like Murphy's Law. If you are rushed and you want to go there fast and you're having all of this stress and anxiety, then everything's going to happen that's going to block your smooth journey. But if you get there nice and early and you feel, you know, like this is easy and anything that happens, you've got it handled, then things end up working out much, much better. So just wanted to point those two things out to you as we're heading into one of the busiest travel seasons, the holidays. So Thanksgiving's coming up soon. If you celebrate, I wish you a very great time. This is a time to reflect on the the bounty that we have in this country. And um, anyway, I wish you a very great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and send this um, video to your friends and family who would benefit from reminders of what mistakes not to make as you're going through the TSA security line. I also have a free download uh, for a packing list and things to do if you're traveling international, which is really helpful. And um, with that, I will say goodbye and ciao for now. Bye.